we have a new lesson for today and it is all about compound machines. Well, at the end of this video, you will be able to investigate compound machines and identify the simple machines used in them. If you can remember our previous lessons about simple machines that include a wedge, an inclined plane, a screw, a pulley, a wheel and axle, and a lever, you will determine how to identify simple machines from these compound machines. But how are compound machines different from simple machines? To differentiate these two, we need to recognize that a machine is a tool used to make work easier. Simple machines are simple tools used to make work easier. But compound machines have two or more simple machines working together to make work easier. Example, a stapler is made up of two simple machines. How? The top arm of a stapler is a lever. When you push down on this lever, it transfers energy into a staple, which staples your paper. The staples in a stapler are wedges. When you push down on a stapler, it sends out a sharp metal staple which purses through paper. Another example is a wheelbarrow. A wheelbarrow is made up of three simple machines. One, the bucket of the wheelbarrow is an inclined plane that helps put the weight of the load in the best place to allow us to move easily. Number two, the handles of the wheelbarrow are levers that allow you to lift heavy objects with less work. And three, the wheel on a wheelbarrow is a wheel and axle. The wheel works with an axle to help us move heavy objects more easily from one place to another. What about a hand drill? Have you seen a hand drill before? A hand drill is made up of four simple machines. How? 1. The knob on the drill handle is a wheel and axle. When you turn the handle, the knob stays still in your hand as it rotates around an axle. 2. The handle on the drill is a lever. Turning the lever around a fulcrum creates the energy to work the drill. 3. The round part of the drill after the handle is gears. These gears transfer energy from the turning motion of the handle into power that drives the drill bit. 4. The drill bit is a screw. It twists and turns into a surface like wood to make a hole. But, is a can opener considered as compound machines? Why? A can opener is made up of four simple machines. How? Number 1. The arms in the can opener form two levers. These levers open and close on one fulcrum to grip and help open a can. 2. The part that cuts into the can is a wedge. As the can opener turns the can, this wedge cuts through the metal top of the can. 3. The round part of the can opener that grips onto the can is a gear. The gear uses energy from the turning handle to spin around. And finally, the rotating handle on a can opener is a wheel and axle. When you turn the handle, energy transfers to a gear and a wedge, which rotate and open the can. Now, can you identify simple machine from a compound machine? We will try from this following examples. Number one, a screwdriver. A screwdriver, in the most sense, is actually a lever. Number two, scissors. Are scissors compound machine? Scissors are using combined mechanisms. The blades of the scissors are a pair of wedges in a cross shape, which pivot around a fulcrum. The attached handles are levers. When force is applied to the handles, it causes the bladed wedges to come together to cut an object from both sides. 3. An axe. An axe is a compound machine. 
because it is consists of a wedge at the end of a liver arm. That ends our lesson. Please don't forget to answer your workbook pages 99 to 101. If you learned something today and want to see more videos, please hit the bell button below and subscribe. My name is Ms. Noreen Sikabasa. Have a great day and bye!